Welcome to the Toka Backstage Podcast. Join Toka's Executive Director, Chris Wolf, in conversations with the artists and people behind the scenes of the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation's performances and events. Hi, this is Chris Wolf, the Executive Director of the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation. Today, it was my honor to speak with David Tobin from AudioJack. Um, AudioJack is a, an app and a website that it was, as they say on their website, it's audio-based movies with no words to mindfully engage your imagination. Um, here it is on the app. It's basically, well, I'll let him explain it to you. Take a listen. We actually preview uh, an audio jack. It's a lot of fun. It's free to do. I highly recommend it, especially during these stressful times with elections and fires and pandemics. It's just a nice way to escape and play with your imagination. Highly recommended. Check it out. Great. Hi, this is Chris Wolf. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, Toka Backstage. It is my honor to be speaking with David Tobin from Audio Jack, as you can tell by the uh, product placement on his T-shirt. Um, Absolutely. I have, well, first of all, thank you for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I got to tell you, I sort of found out about you through... Uh, my wife, who is a teacher for the blind and visually impaired, and she mm. said, hey, we got to ch check this thing out. So um, for those who don't know Audio Jack, it's, yeah. it's, your website says uh, it's an audio-based movie with no words to mindfully engage your imagination. Yes. <laughs> and that is exactly what it is. Um, so can, can you sort of give a, a brief rundown on where you came up with this idea? Yeah. Um, so in Audio Jack, uh, as you said, you know, essentially it's an audio-based movie. Kind of like a radio show in a way is a good way to explain it, I think, to people who don't understand the concept of it. But there's no music and there's no dialogue. It's all sound design. Uh, and that, that's, a, that's a big part of the two. You know, I mean, there's no language barrier. There's no gender barrier. There's no race barrier. It's sound. You know, if I... If I break my water glass, it doesn't go lay break in France. It makes the same sound. And it creates a universal platform. As you mentioned, you know, your wife working with uh, in the blind uh, space, we've been working with, you know, so many different programs around the world that use this because there is no barrier to this. The blind can use audio jack just the same as sighted individuals because it's activating the imagination. And I came up with this concept uh, a bit ago. My background is in music and television. I've been producing TV shows for a long time and telling stories. And I've been a musician my whole life and even used to manage the Roxy on Sunset and worked in that space and done some things like that. So uh, one day I had access to a bunch of sound effects for a project and I just started going through them. I just had all this time and I started going through them and then I opened up a sound editor and I started playing around with them and putting them together and really diving into it and came up with an audio jack and played it for a friend and they were like what the hell I'm like what's the story and i wouldn't tell them and i saw how engaged they were and they're like i need to know what's going on I'm like no this is for you it's yours like if i tell you what the story is that will ruin your experience and it should be up to you it should always be what you want it to be and then from there uh I basically saw kind of where this was heading and I started doing a lot of research in the science field and showing how this can affect the mind and the benefits from it and then bringing it to the education space. And I can go on and on uh, about how it's evolved in that space. But um, that's essentially how I came up with it. I had access to a bunch of sound design and then started layering and layering and layering and designing them and doing different things with them that um, ended up becoming a whole formula for creating this. Well, it was interesting because when when we did it, I I mm -hmm. I was kind of apprehensive at first. So we did you did we did two. I forgot what the first one. Was. The other one was the second one was New York City. Yeah. And so the first one I was kind of like, well, I, I, oh, the stage I, because Eddie Van Halen was a theme, right? Uh, While okay. we we're listening. I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. Your, your wife, I think, came up with it and said she had Eddie Van Halen in her story while someone else did as well, I think. Yeah. Um, um, it was just interesting yeah. because I, 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 I didn't, I mean, I participated in the first one, but I didn't really get it. The second one, I closed my eyes and I, I really tried to get, go into it. And it, it took me a second, but then I got the hang of it. Because 
for those watching and listening, it's like you literally close your eyes and you're fed sound effects and you just have to figure out what it is and make the story up as you go along. And it was, what, what I what I appreciated was you, you played them twice. So the mm -hmm. first one was kind of like you get a sense of what it is. And then the second time you close your eyes and you really get into it. And it was, it was fun because you open it up to everyone on the call on the Zoom and you get to hear what other people were, th were saying. I bet you've heard some really crazy things going through. <laughs> I have. Uh, and that's the fun of it too, is that, you know, it's, it's your imagination. The whole thing is like, there's no wrong answer with an audio jack. And that's a big part of it. You know, you, you listen to it twice because the first time you hear it, and it's like, okay, what did I just hear? Like all that. But then the second time, it's time to fill in the story and create the narrative you want. You know, use it as a springboard, a prompt to engage your imagination and create something. And so, you know, the stories from all of these range um, all over the place. But you'd be surprised. Uh, some of them actually, you know, sometimes they're similar to other people that have no connection to each other. Yeah, and I have to imagine that some, I mean, sometimes they probably overlap. I mean, it's weird because you, it's, for example, the New York one, you, you basically just heard like a door close and footsteps and, and ambient sound and then cars running by. And I mean, I've only been to New York a couple of times, but it's like, I could, I could see it in my head and it's, and I don't know where I came up with the story I came up with. It was just, that's kind of what I saw. It, and it's, is there like a, a science to this or is it really just oh yeah, for fun? Yeah, there is. A, there, I mean, it's for fun, uh, but there is a lot of uh, science and uh, special ways to make these. And it's something that we, we don't reveal. And I say we, I have a team of creators that I've now trained to make these and whatnot. But there is a certain way audio jacks are made to elicit that response. Like we've had people who have never been to New York and listen to NYC and they're like, oh, it's this, this, this. And they feel like they're there. I mean, that's the whole point of it. That's why a lot of blind people use it for orientation and mobility so they could feel like they're in different experiences and get them more familiar with it um, and other elements of it. But yeah, there's a certain element to it because like you're hearing certain sounds and you're hearing it. It's not just, you know, walk, walk, walk. Like there's other things going around it, really subsonic levels. There's different types of audio being mixed in. It's not all just stereo or ambisonic or you know, surround sound or mono, like there's all these different elements that are placed. Like if you look at the timeline of an audio jack, it's like 16 stacks of files for one second or things like that. Like it's just massive, the amount of layering and elements that we do to create this, to, to get your imagination to engage. And the real science behind it, um, it's interesting. So I did my, uh, I majored in chemistry and minored in biology, did my uh, undergrad in psychology and then graduate work studying uh, social influence and attitude change and how the mind reacts to phenomenon. So I've gone on and worked with a lot of different scientists. We've worked with different um, programs. UC Riverside's brain program did a study with us. We've done other studies to show how not only the science behind making an audio jack, but how it can affect people and be really healthy for you because we're in this always on generation like everyone is on this all day it doesn't look up there but a the phone you know you're looking at a screen i'm looking at a screen you know and we're looking at different screens but we're in front of the screens for over half a year now the average human spends over half a year in front of a screen um which is crazy it, it's not healthy it's, it's bad and it has a lot of negative effects on the mind and so taking a little break and engaging in your creativity and it goes back to, you know, engaging in the arts and, and allowing yourself to be expressive. And the neat thing about audio, Jack, is like I have people all the time like, oh, I'm not creative. The next thing I know, they're telling a story about dragons and lasers at the same time. And I'm like, that's pretty creative, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And it's just that element of like getting you through that element of it. But there's a lot of science you can find on the audiojack.com website um, about how it affects the mind and, and why it's an important tool and why it's used in so many different areas, not just like blind or education, but used for memory loss and dementia programs. It's used for people who are dealing with anxiety and loneliness, uh, social tools, uh, people who just need a break from a screen. Um, there's a lot of benefits to just imagination in general.
Well, and I have to imagine too is for for writers and creatives, it's yeah. it's a way to sort of just let yourself go and get sort of wrapped up in a in something outside of the the real world. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's exactly it. It's it's not meditation. You know, it's it's not an app where you, it's not all those other apps where it's like turn your app on and meditate. It's imagination. You know, and it's very much what you said, you know, to lose yourself in a story, to let yourself go, even for five minutes can be incredibly healthy. And for writers and, you know, dealing with writer's block or needing inspiration or other things like that, like it provides a tool for those people too. And I mean, I can't, I don't know, to me, just the whole concept is so creative and and ingenious that uh, I'm I'm actually kind of upset I didn't think of it, but... um, (laughs) How long has this been in existence? So AudioJack's been a company for about five years, but it existed prior to that. Uh, doing a lot of studies, a lot of pilot programs with education programs here in the United States and other countries and working with people in the science community and other areas before releasing it as a full product. So it's been around for a little while, but uh, in very small doses for programs and people like that. And you, So I'd say about five years as a company. And do you, the one, I mean, I don't know, again, I just mm-hmm. was going along with my wife and that's how I found it, but yeah, is it, is it something you get invited to? Is it something people can just access? Because I know you do it twice a week, right? Oh, yeah, I do live sessions. So, so AudioJack itself is an app that anyone can download and you can also access all our content on the AudioJack.com website. Um, it's a free app and I'll show you, it's right there. It's nice. Whoa, can we, can we hold on. There we go. If I... I got my green screen going. You can kind of see yeah. there's different cat. There's different categories. And anyway, there's a mobile app. There's different categories. You can just go through, pick the one you want to hit play. Uh, it's free to download and all the activities are free and they all have step-by-step instructions. They all start the same. Listen to it once with your eyes closed. Listen to the same one a second time and brainstorm. So you can kind of put your narrative together. And then it goes off from there from creating storyboards to doing interactive things to all sorts of stuff. Um, and then there's, I think, 60 different audio jacks inside the app. But then I, on the website, uh, it mentions our live events. And that's something I did because of the pandemic. Because I wanted to create a resource for people to hang out and, you know, be social or to talk about things that don't have to deal with current events and just let your imagination go and allow people to engage, like the way we did it during our live session. And that's really where that came from. Um, and so those will go on until you know we'll see but uh they've been going on for a while but you can get access to everything in the app because i i have to encourage anyone who i mean because really it's we did it i think on our on i don't remember what night but it was like Uh, thursday night thursday night and it was like there was obviously nothing on television because there isn't anymore (laughs) um and it was like okay yeah let's play and then i really kind of I just thought it was so ingenious. So I encourage anyone to check out the app, check out the website and try it. Um, and just let your imagination run wild, which is kind of fun because nowadays if everything is like right in front, it's like, yeah, people don't let their imagination run wild anymore. It seems like. No, I mean, well, when's the last time you played pretend? or acted or, or read a fantasy story with someone else and did a funny character voice. Like how long has it been since you've like engaged in something like that? Like quite a while. Yeah. But it's healthy. It, it's yeah. something we should be doing. And, and especially now, you know, we're in a incredibly stressed world. Um, there's so many other things going on and people are on their phone, doom scrolling and worried about this and that. Like we need to take breaks. We need to have an opportunity to engage our imagination, be playful. In the middle of the chaos, you still have to be human or else what's the point? <laughs> well said, <laughs> I, I, I totally agree with you. Um, yeah. is, is there a way for us to give people a, a preview? Um, yeah, let me see what we can do here. If you want, can you, if you, uh, if you allow me to share my screen, I can mirror the audio jack app and I'll play a little bit of one so people get an idea and then I'll stop it and give them a shot. Uh, can I make you the host? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oops, hold on. 
All right, there we go. Get set up on this. I actually just finished a live session. We do them every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and uh, every Thursday. And here we are. And there's a new Halloween one coming out right now, too. So this is the app. As I said, there's different activities in here that people can browse um, with step-by-step -step instructions. And then um, there's different categories. We did one from the life section. But just to give people a little idea, let's do one from the action adventure. And hit live forever. And so for those of you at home that are listening, you're just going to let your imagination go. Just close your eyes. And I'm going to play about a minute and a half of this just to give you an idea of the concept of what an audio jack can do. So uh, here we go. All right, I'm gonna tease you all and stop you right there before it starts to get really going. But as you can hear, those are, you know, it sounds like someone just had a microphone out, possibly, I don't know. But those are hundreds of sounds put together and placed in a certain way and manner to elicit uh, a story. What did you start to imagine? What were you starting to? I, I, have to I have to confess, I think I went the easy route and I just started, it It took me a second to hear, hear the plane, mm -hmm. but then I, I kind of took the route of uh, North by Northwest in the uh, oh, field. Oh, a little Hitchcock on you. Yeah, and then I heard the bird, which, you know, I just, I went total Hitchcock on you. Maybe it's because it's close to Halloween. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's awesome. Uh, that's really neat. I haven't heard anyone actually mention uh, North by Northwest uh, for that one particular, but that's really cool because you heard just part of that. Now, if you listen to the rest of it, it's quite a wild ride, I will say, that particular one. Um, but that's the fun of it. Like, what time of day was it for you? Well, I think it was like midday because that was midday. I basically could see the cornfield and the plant. It, it, it's interesting because it's like you, when you do this, and I don't. I'm, I'm hoping people at home uh, or listening did played along, but when you listen to it, it's like your mind kind of wheel. At least mine does, kind of like grasping it. Okay, what is it? What is it? And then when it grabs something, it just kind of like goes, and that's. Yeah. Because it wasn't until I heard the plane, and then it just for some reason I heard the footsteps, and and then I saw the horn, and then I saw um, Cary Grant, and then it's like just I, I went total Hitchcock. I think that's but, awesome. Yeah, that's so fun. I I have to, you know, it's 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 like you said, people just need to sort of pretend and let go and have a good time without you know any constraints, and this is a great way to do it. I would say though, I would recommend earphones. Oh yeah, headphones for sure. Yeah, I mean, well, it's so. I mean, that one actually was playing a little low, so it's normally a little bit louder. But yeah, I mean, headphones absolutely. It's an amazing experience on this. Um, you really get to hear because there's a lot of subtle things that are put into the audio jacks that you won't hear on bigger speakers. But however, if you're doing a home stereo or you're in your car listening to it, you get to feel the audio around you, like when the airplane goes over. 
you know, the bass from your speaker system, you'll feel that differently. But also you can put your headphones on and have a totally different story the next time you hear it, which is the really interesting thing about it. And then comparing your story with others, like start saying, okay, wh what time of day was it? Was it you in it? What did the airplane look like? What color was it? And start asking more questions. Yeah. And you just kind of go down these rabbit holes and see what you come up with. And um, how long does it usually take you to do one audio jack? To create one? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, it's like saying how long does it take to create a, a hit song? <laughs> Sometimes it just comes to you and other times it takes a very long time. Well, then um, this, <laughs> they, they, yeah. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard like filmmakers and, and, and uh, producers say that that's one thing that people often, they often put aside is the sound of something because like if they're working on a film, like student filmmakers, they'll, They'll see the images, they'll work with the actors, they'll, they'll yeah. do the set, but they always forget about the sound, which is, is so cru critical to, to making something come alive. A hundred percent. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, obviously my ears are a little more adept to hearing certain things and in movies and films and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, the round, the wrong sound can take you out of the moment and to, and also the right one can change a whole story for you. Yeah. I mean, it's one of our senses. It's just the interesting thing about it is your ears are one of the senses you can't really turn off. You can close your mouth and not taste. You can close your eyes and not see. You can't close your ears. You can cover them just like you cover your nose, but that's about it. But so it's something still here. I mean, even if you cover it, you're still, you're still going to hear. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that's always on. And so uh, be able to engage that through this channel, I think is really neat. And also for, you know, other creatives, like I get, I actually was just, Audio Jack was just tagged yesterday by a, um, an artist, actually some writers and artists that had been listening to Audio Jacks and other people do live Audio Jack sessions, like lots of organizations will do kind of what we did, you know, where they'll play it for their audience and then they have a discussion, they do it once a week um, and things like that. But this woman had been writing out like actual stories, like full on short stories to all these different audio jacks and then uh, had a cartoon artist animate for every single one of them based on her story after he heard the audio jack. And actually they've been doing collaborative efforts. And this woman in France just made an actual movie trailer based on her story that she wrote after hearing an audio jack. So it's really neat to see people use this as a source of, you know, uh, inspiration or projects. And especially now, like in, in the area where we can't hang out with each other and we can't be creative together, which I love doing, like being in a good, you know, writer's room or on set or doing things like that. This allows us to still be creative and hang out, yeah. even though we can't be with each other. Well, I'm curious, what, what do you see for the future of Audio Jack? What is, what is your goal? Uh, the goal is just more like more content, more people. We have a program we're rolling out with the federal program for the blind starting in November. Um, they're going to be, you know, uh, basically getting more people into the program and using it there and handling that side of it, working with other, you know, schools, education programs. And that's really it. We also, I work with uh, Bose has been a partner of ours for a while. Um, I created augmented reality versions of these. So like you're listening to the audio jack and, you know, you heard that uh, the sounds at the beginning of that one we just listened to. And imagine if you turned your head right to go look at that. Well, that would trigger a different story. And actually there's a version in, in the app. If you have Bose headphones or their frames, their wearables, and you go into the AR section of the audio jack app, um, that one has 22 different story combinations you can create by moving your head at different points in the story. And then I also made a bowling one that you can move your head and it'll change the way you throw your bowling ball. So that uh, working on a project with uh, Huntington Library and Gardens, uh, creating some audio jack content for them so people can experience the gardens in different ways. So it's really just about trying to provide more resources, work with more programs, allow people to have access to this and let them create with it. You know, we're just a tool to help you use your imagination. I'm, my mind is still blown by the Bose thing. I didn't even know that was a thing that could be done. Yeah. <laughs> How fun is that? I mean, that kind of like opens up a whole can of worms for you. Oh yeah, it's great. We've been working with them for about two years now. Um, I did a whole launch at South by Southwest the last time it happened. Um, and it's amazing. Yeah, like you can listen to audio jacks and then change the story with them. You can have geolocated audio jacks so you're walking through an area and different audio jacks happen as you walk through the grounds. Um, but you'd have to have their hardware. 
Um, eventually when uh, more wearables come out with augmented reality and more of them, we'll open our platform to more people. But uh, yeah, there's all sorts of fun, cool things you can do with this stuff. Well, that, is, <laughs> that is amazing. Well, yeah. I, I, again, I do appreciate your time. I hope, I hope we, you, a lot of people yeah. who listen or watch this will tune in and uh, experience, if not download the, the app, I, I encourage you to do a live mm -hmm. one because uh, it's so fun. You're almost like a Dr. Phil leading people through these stories. It's like you're, yeah. you, have, you have this really calm <laughs> demeanor and it's like totally non-threatening, just people just want to participate. So I, I encourage you to participate if you can. Um, David, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. And if you have any, uh, you know, programming and stuff over there that you want to collaborate on over there in Torrance or how we can help out, you know, let us know. We'll help get you guys up and running so you can run your own audio jack sessions too. Maybe um, a live audio our... jack. Have you come yeah. out on stage and do a, just have it, give everyone headphones and have them experience it live. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's actually what's really neat is, Prior, I know we were wrapping up, but prior to this, uh, I mean, I've done audio jacks for audiences of over 500 people with giant sound systems and have a whole group of people hear it at once. And then different people raise their hand. We go over with a mic and they share their story. And I'm like, okay, so everyone had the same thing. And they're like, no. And then you run over here and you hear all these different stories. And it's a great icebreaker. It's a good way to connect with people um, and do things like that too. But yeah, I'm always open to oppor opportunities and options. Well, that's um, no, I, absolutely. I, it, I mean, we have, we can definitely do something. I know um, if nothing else, we have a, back in the day when we used to do events, <laughs> we have uh, the South Bay Festival of the Arts where we bring in, you know, thousands of people at the center and, and it's like a day long yeah. thing. It'd be cool to have some, uh, you know, some, small uh, samples of what you do so people could get used to it or you know like you said maybe even do it in the big theater and get 500 people to do it yeah i mean that's how uh you know it's there's all sorts of options but it's a tool that's there for anyone the app is free if you want there's a free audio jack in every category all the activities are free um, if you want to unlock all the rest of the content inside the app it is a whopping two dollars and 99 cents a month or you can uh, buy a year subscription, and that comes out to a buck twenty-five a month. So, um, so you're really you're really taking these starving artists to heart because that's that, that can't be uh, that can't be like your breadwinning thing. Oh no, it, no, it, it's very much. That's exactly what funds our our whole organization. We have we have, I mean, five hundred people downloaded the Audio Jack yesterday alone. Um, oh, wow. you know, we have. Yeah, it's, it's used globally. And we have organizations and schools that have, you know, whole school districts with Audio Jack, um, and, you know, huge programs using it for that. And the reason why we have the, it used to be way more expensive, but we had so many users that we were able to drop the cost. So it could be easier for people to have it in programs in other countries where they don't have the funds and resources. We're like, well, people need this. So how can we make it cheaper for them? And that was a big effort on our end to be able to get it to that point. That's so. awesome. I, I, I yeah. love hearing stories about people who are doing it for the love of it and not yeah. necessarily just to make become rich. No, I mean, the whole point is like, if I have this amazing tool that can help people and the barrier to entry is money, uh, you know, obviously that's important because we have to run a business and do right. that. But then when you get to a certain point, you can actually make a shift and make it easier for more people to have a resource that they need. And that's, uh, that's what we've been doing. Well, so. good work, my my friend. Well, again, thank you. Thanks. So well, much. I'm very glad we got a chance to do this. Yeah, yeah and thank you. Too. It was great. Yeah, let's um, stay in touch and. Absolutely, we will. We will. We will work together at some point. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Great. Well, hey, have a great rest of the day, and uh, I appreciate the time. This was great. Thanks.